Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's get you caught up. Here is the short version. I bought a K1 attack car. I started building it. Put on the suspension, the front axle, the, the brakes. Then we got into the electrical. More electrical. Let's go ahead. More electrical. Redoing the electrical. And more electrical. But then we got some batteries. So nope. now it's time to design the battery boxes. This week we got a whole bunch of new parts and we are also going to look at getting some things uh, fitted up on the steering column and then we're going to go into the battery box design. So let's get started. All right, we got some packages. So let's go ahead and open up, see what we've got. All right, we're gonna go over what we got. So, um, got some round stock. So I think we did inch and a half round, as well as inch and a half square. So I got two of those, I think six or seven of those. I got some angle stock, as well as just flat bar. Um, this one came with, uh, I got, uh, it was a shock mount kit. So this is kind of what comes in it. So you get two of these that can uh, be welded onto the round stock, as well as the uh, bolt washers and such. So I mean, this is kind of what it looks like put together. Um, so again, that will be able to mount the shock. So also got a Tesla brake switch that came. So we'll get that wired up. The, this is the shock as well. So I've, I've kind of done some measurements and things. This should work well. And again, um, the, this should fit with the current uh, Tesla mounting system. And again, uh, got that so it'll, it'll fit with, with this here. So that's what we got. This was the original um, shock absorber assembly. I'm going to see, I, I'm thinking that the spring will still be a good one to use um, with my current setup because it was uh, essentially the weight of the vehicle, um, the angle and such is going to be very similar. So I'm going to try this one and see if it'll work. If not, I will go ahead and order another spring. We're going to go ahead and assemble this coilover and show you how it goes. The spring that I currently had um, kind of had two two problems with it. One, uh, so this one I think it suggested the free length to be 10 inches, and this one's more like 11, so it's just a little too long. I'm sure I could compress it to get it to fit, but uh, anyways, I, the other problem, again not necessarily a problem, but the diameter um, is just a little bit larger than uh, than this is made for. So I'm going to go ahead and get some some new springs. This is the steering column pivot. This one was uh, quite challenging to find. So uh, basically your steering column goes through here and then when you put on the lever to kind of lift it up and down, this one pivots. So um, the frame's got these three holes for it to mount. Um, I'm just going to do what I do with all the other ones. I'm gonna get the rust off, probably paint, get a little coat of paint and put it on. I guess I should do quick before and after, so. Again, not too bad. Just a little bit of surface rest, so I think this treatment will work work well for it. All right, here's the finished product, so now we're gonna go do some paint. All right, so here's this piece. Looks pretty good, we'll show you the other one. All right, here's the other one. So. I 
Yeah, not too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put it on the car. All right, this is Jack, my helper. He's gonna help us uh, see if we can put the new steering pivot in. So what do you think? Are we gonna be able to do it? Yes. All right, so we got this top one mounted. I'm trying to mount this one underneath, but uh, seems like the, can you even see it? Anyways, this plastic that's down here kind of seems like it's in the way. So we either need to trim that. Uh, originally we trimmed it, but maybe we didn't trim it far enough. So we'll go ahead and take that off and see where we need to trim it or just take it off altogether. Okay, so we got everything tight. Um, took us a while. It seemed like there was kind of an order to it, meaning we first put this bottom bracket on and then tighten these ones. Um, but I think we've all got it. We're gonna go ahead and test the steering now. Okay, right now um, we just kind of put the uh, steering column adapter on and just did this nut loose and then just these ones are kind of loose. We just wanna see again if the steering seems like it's kind of bound up at all or if we're good to go. So go ahead. So what do you think? How's it feel? It feels. Keep going. Okay, there was our test. What do you think? Good. All right, so I think it went pretty good. A um, couple things. So the, the lever here that supposedly releases it so it can pivot, um, it's kind of stiff, meaning ugh, I can't really get it to pivot up or down. So I'm gonna see what's binding. The other thing is I don't think um, so the steering wheel, it's not quite straight with, I think that, so we may need to, um, take it out and get it on a different tooth down here. Um, so, just those splines, we may need to get on a different spline. So that's where we're to. I took out the steering column, and so it, I guess I think, I think I've got this bolt just too tight, so I mean, when I push this down, even manually, I just can't move it. Um, so I'm gonna loosen it up and see if that does the trick. All right, so I got it all figured out. Just uh, bolt was not quite uh, tight and another one had the washer in the wrong spot. So got it figured out and uh, it's working now. So I'll put it back in, make sure that the uh, steering column splines are aligned so the steering wheel can be vertical. And I think hopefully we'll bolt everything together and have the pivot work. I figured I'd also do a rough alignment. Um, I just got this laser level and essentially I'll have it be online here and I'll have it shine up on the wall and I'll measure kind of from there um, and also the other one and see if I'm kind of like toe in or toe out and um, that'll help me a little bit and then I'll get it uh, aligned straight the best I can and then I'll uh, go ahead and put on the steering column. All right, so from one mark to the other, we're right about 64 inches. So I'll go measure what we are hub to hub. All right, so hub to hub, it looks like I'm right around 60. So just uh, towed out a little bit. So I'll go ahead and uh, adjust uh, the, this tie rod to put one of them in or out. I can't remember. It seems like when I go clock to clock from the steering column, it seemed like it's a little more one way than the other. So I'll figure out which way that is and adjust that side. 
All right, so I marked uh, kind of dead center here on the um, output shaft there for the steering, well, that will be connected to the steering column from the steering rack. And um, I got things essentially aligned. I'm gonna say generally aligned. I'll take it in once everything's done for a real alignment. But uh, now time to put in the steering column. So I got everything back together. Um, the again, the lever. So again, we can push that down, and then the whole the whole steering column can drop. Put this back up. And that's you know it's in place. Um, so yeah, we got uh, so the pivot is in, and I've got things lined up here so that uh, we're kind of dead center. And the steering wheel is dead center, and our wheels are centered somewhat. So the things I've got to do left here, so I got to put on the horn, wire the horn, and then I've got the uh, essentially the garnish or whatever you call that, the top and bottom surround around the steering column. So when I thought I was on a roll, just found out this, uh, basically this is the horn, and you can see it kind of extrudes that way just a little bit, and the bolt that secures the steering column, so you can see it kind of even sticks out from here. So um, not quite sure how we're gonna work that. I may just get like a, an extension. I do have another steering wheel hub adapter. Ugh, I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I've decided that uh, rather than kind of fight with several different spacers uh, or anyway, uh, steering, steering column adapters, uh, I would just make a spacer, essentially just that diameter and have the six holes just so it can stand off just a little bit and give me all the clearance I need. Here it is with the uh, surround on. Um, again, I'll, I'll tighten that nut on. Got to hook up the horn, but like I said, I'm gonna just make a little spacer here. Probably only needs to be like quarter inch, half inch, something like that. But uh, it'll put on the steering wheel, and I think that will do it for here. Do it for the steering column. Put the front hood on. I was trying to see if I could get a fourth battery up front, and I believe I can. So I'll show you here. So. I've just got it right here, and let's see if you can see from underneath here. There, so um, like before I have one, two, I've just not put this one in, but three, and then one on top, four. And so again, there's, I don't know how well you can see, but there's, I don't know, several inches, so I think we're good there. Um, I just gotta figure out how best to do like an enclosure. So that'll be next. Here it is with the hood off. So again, I'll just have kind of three on the bottom, that one on top, and just have to figure out how to constrain it all. So that'll be kind of the next task. All right, here we are back at CAD again. Um, I've gone ahead and uh, done some more modeling. Um, I also painted my car yellow 
I don't know. What do you think? So, uh, anyway, the, the thought here was to let you see kind of the thought for the battery boxes. So, let me go ahead and hide this one. Okay, so basically up front I can fit four batteries. So, my plan is um, I, I was going to have a, a steel brace that uh, goes to this upper um, part of the frame as well as this lower part of the frame. And it'll wrap around, and my thought was to have two of those. So, I only am showing one, but to have two of those, that'll help it uh, not go forward. Um, my thought was for the sides, like for side to side, um, essentially I was going to put an L bracket, um, well, sorry, even before that. The back, to support the back weights, the front weight, this this already exists up here up front, this is part of the frame. So I was going to weld in a little piece of square tubing in between, again this exists and this exists, so it's going to weld a piece of square tubing there and that'll kind of support all the weight of the batteries on the back side. And then my thought was to prevent them going from side to side, um, I'd weld in between these two just a little piece of angle stock. And so again, then you've got the back supported, the front, and so it's not going to move forward, side to side's good. And then um, I haven't drawn it yet, but the essentially the, ba the whole battery pack will be pushed up against the, there's a frame, kind of a, almost looks like an X here on the back, so it'll be pushed up against the back. Um, these, I'm just going to plan to have some plastic um, machined, um, just some uh, quarter inch material and I was going to secure it all with just some L brackets so you can see all the different uh, places I've got and yeah so that's kind of the plan. Um, anyways four batteries that's what it'll look like. So I'll have uh, the connector, I shouldn't say connectors, the pass-through, I don't even know what they're called, for the cables. And so they'll, they'll just be drilled where, I'll, I'll just put them wherever they need to go. And then the back, I'll show you the back. So the back I can fit eight batteries. So again, my thought was to kind of stand them up. Let's see if I can show you back here. So again, this part of the frame exists. Oh, it's a little dark here. Um, but essentially, I, I, again, square tubing, I'm going to do square tubing up about that high and then over and so on both sides and then across. So that'll kind of create a whole bottom platform for all these to sit on. And then just angle, angle steel up on all sides and then the top. I've actually got planned, I've got, I bought some hinges so this whole front, I shouldn't call it front, actually the back, can swing open the back. As you can see, this exists already so you can't exactly just drop them in from the top. So this will hinge open and I'll be able to kind of just put them in, put them in, and then I'll swing it closed. And my thought here was, um, Again, either some sheets of plastic or fiberglass, or I was even thinking uh, maybe some plywood. So that is the plan for the battery boxes. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.